Hi guys, Robbie and today I'm coming from Liberty Resort here in Apple Island. The room I've got here is a deluxe sea view, which you can see the ocean from here. In the distance, I'm not sure if you can see it, is Negros Oriental, which has some of the more upmarket resorts if you want to stay there because this resort is very basic and what I'll do is I'll also update my other video I did many years ago when I came here just to see if there's any changes or not so let's take a look Apple Island is just a tiny island in the Philippines famous for diving and snorkeling and when I talk snorkeling it's all about the turtles and I'm going to show more of that later in the video first let's look on the map to see where it's located and more importantly how to get there. Apple Island is located off Negros Oriental, as you can see in the map. On the western side of the island is the village, and this is also where the accommodation options are available. I stayed at Liberty Lodge on this occasion, and there's some homestays in the village that you can stay if you want some cheaper options. And I'll show more of that in a moment. So to get to the island, the nearest city is Dumaguete, which has an airport that you can fly in from Manila or Cebu. And from Cebu, you also have the option of boat and bus. From Dumaguete, you can catch a, a bus, or as I did, a tricycle from the city to the pier at Malatepe. For me and the tricycle, it took around 45 minutes or so. Last time I did it, they charged me around 250 peso for this trip, which is about six years ago. This time they charged me 500. I didn't bargain the price this time as the driver was very helpful. Anyhow, on the highway, there's a sign shown to Apple Island to the left. On the street to the pier, on Wednesday they have market day so it can get really busy. They sell everything from food to livestock. As a matter of interest, Liberty Lodge can arrange transfers to the island as well. You can see the details on screen. I paid 300 peso for the boat ride over to the island. I actually shouldn't say it's a pier. It's just a beach and you have to wade through the water to get to the boat. On this occasion, the waters were a bit choppy. So by the time I got to the island, I was totally drenched. Last time I did this, it was a much smoother ride. So just be aware of this and take your precautions, particularly if you have electronics. The boat rides about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how rough the water is. Once you arrive, you have to pay a 100 peso entrance fee to the island. The turtles can be seen at the front beach. So the turtles are just offshore, just in that area. So looking from above with a drone, basically, inside where those boats are from, uh, where the turtles swim. If you're like me and love turtles and want to snorkel with them, this is possibly the best place in the Philippines to do it. The turtles seem unperturbed by humans swimming close to them. They just go about their business eating and swimming. So why do these turtles come to Apple Island? Their main diet is seagrass, algae, sponges, and also jellyfish. Apple Island has plenty of algae in the shallow waters right in front of the main beach. And there are two types of turtle species found in this area, the hawksbill and the green turtle. You're more likely to see the green turtle swimming at the front beach. Hawksbills tend to swim in deeper waters. From the video, you can see how close the turtles actually come to shore. While you can get fairly close to the turtles, make sure to maintain a distance and you're not allowed to touch them. Remember, respect nature. Swimming with the turtles at Apple Island is the highlight of coming to this place. Last time I came here, I stayed at Apple Island Resort. And I'll let you know my opinion between this resort and Liberty Lodge later in the video. Apple Island Resort is located on this private cove and it looks pretty much the same as it did six years ago when I came here. Make sure to have a visit into the village, it's laid back, get to, get to see the locals, buy some food. The people here are so friendly. It's this really laid back island vibe. Hello. Hello. What's that? Whoa. It's fruit mix. Pila? Or? 10 pesos. Night 10, night 20. At dusk, when it's a little bit cooler, I took a stroll into the village. Hello. God, this place, nothing's changed. It just feels like exactly the same it was when I came here years ago, which is a good thing. Some of the kids were playing basketball here and, and you really feel that carefree life on the island. Or hit the beach to watch the awesome sunsets. Sometimes you just need to simplify your life. And this is a great place to remind yourself of that. 
Yeah. It's a viewing platform that you can hike up to, giving these magnificent views of the island. To Liberty's Lodge, at the front is Paul's Diving. I only used it to hire some flippers, as I'm not a diver. The resort and restaurant are located up the stairs. As part of the room rate, meals were included. Just check with the resort at the time of booking, just in case this changes. Service is a bit slow, but on an island like this, I expected that. The staff here are from the village, so you may have to lower your expectations a bit as far as service. The best way I find is just to be friendly, get to know the staff, and your experiences and interactions with the staff will be so much better for it. And I just say, enjoy the island vibe here. Food itself was pretty decent. Here's a copy of the menu when I stayed with the food available. How long is the electricity for? Uh, 6 to 10.30, sir. 6 a.m. to 10.30? Yeah. You can let open the windows at night. Okay. So first I'm going to show you the prices and the room I stayed at at Liberty Lodge. Then I'll show you a homestay on Apple Island if you want something cheaper. So Liberty Lodge has its own website. This is how I contacted them to book a room. At the time I booked it, I wasn't able to find any rates on other third-party sites. You can also check the website for diving prices. Rooms start from the dormitory. The only room rates that were showing on the website though were the standard room from 2,250 peso per night, deluxe rooms from 2,500, luxury rooms from 2,800, and the sea view from 3,300. The sea view I stayed at was very simple. Basically just a bed, fan, and mosquito net. It's very rustic. It had a bathroom to one side, and basically it was just a shower and toilet. It's just the basics, and it's very rustic. I also had a balcony that overlooked the ocean. Due to the limited hours of power on the island, the fan goes off around 10.30 at night, so it's best to open the doors to get some air into the room. Personally, when the fan went off, I did feel a bit uncomfortable and hot. Previously staying at Apple Island Resort, the accommodation was fairly similar. Simple and rustic. The main difference is, is the location, it's right on the beach, so you do get a little bit more sea breeze. While I was here, I also checked out Mary's Homestay, with rooms starting from 600 peso a night. Keep in mind, it's in the village, and you only get a few hours of power each night. I'll put the contact number below in the description if you want to contact them. I didn't personally stay here, so I'm just showing this as a reference of other places to stay at. For me, Apple Island is one of the most amazing places to go and see turtles up close. So this is my second trip to Apple Island. The other time was about six years ago. From then and now, there's not a lot of changes happened since then. The same resorts there. It just seems like I've never left the place. Island accommodation is very rustic. If you're a bit precious and need more luxury in your accommodation, it's probably best to stay over in Darwin in Negros Oriental. There's a number of resorts along there, some upmarket and there's dive resorts as well. And then you can do a day trip over to Apple Island, do snorkeling with the turtles and then go back. One of those resorts I can recommend is Atmosphere Resorts and Spa, an upmarket resort along the coast here. I will do a review of this resort in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. So to quickly sum up Apple Island, personally I think one or two nights is enough for me, but you'll probably get more out of it if you are a diver though. If you don't mind the simplistic rooms and the limited power on the island, I think it's an awesome place to visit. And if you want to swim with the turtles, it's probably the, one of the best places I've been to. Thank you so much for watching for more travel videos and reviews. Please subscribe, be safe out there, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.